fans! Uh, welcome back, Zero K fans! This is another exhibition match. It's gonna be a match between Orphelius and Ivan D. It's gonna be on Vitra. And it's gonna be starting right now. Orphelius starting out in the south corner of the map, or south side of the map, going for air start. Rather surprising that. While Ivan D on the other hand, on the north side of the map, going for Amphib. Not quite as surprising, but honestly, Amphib's been surprisingly popular recently. It's been a bit of a recent change, but yes, it has been fairly popular, while Air, on the other hand, as a start, also fairly popular, and on a map this size, I can totally see it. Now, whether or not Ivan D will respond properly, if they will go for the mass expansion, or if they're going to try to go for being overly defensive, we will we'll see. But they have already started with expansion setup. The Conch here does have an expansion nicely laid out for it. And Orphelius, on the other hand, getting that first Raven up. No Swifts like Golda did, just quick Raven. Not even bothering on the extra cost in the Swift, which I agree with. Anyway, that Raven is coming in, and Ivan D does have a couple ducks coming forward, which one of them will spot the Raven and fire at it. I don't think... No, it won't even fire at it. The Raven is spotted, though. Orphelius well aware of what's going on, and Orphelius doesn't yet switch out to anything else. Doesn't switch out to archers... Or not archers, to anglers. Staying with the ducks, and Ivan D loses one of their metal extractors. Orphelius takes that out quite nicely, and another Raven coming up, so at this point, Ivan D could very easily just out-expand. There are two Ravens, and I mentioned before, two Ravens basically means four Metal Extractors. Well, four Metal Extractors and a decent amount of Raiding Forces. Ducks do cost 80 each, but that's still basically four Ducks, and four Metal Extractors is the cost of two Ravens. So at this point, Ivan D, they are expanding. They do have the Conch going up for it. However, they are building defenses a bit too soon, I think. They are getting too worried about losing this. They shouldn't worry... Okay, at this point, they are playing... Okay, they are playing Amphibs, so that does change things, because it still is a two-hit situation, but they don't have shields. If someone's playing Shield Factory, it's a much easier time going for the fast expansion. For Amphib, it's a bit harder, because Convicts are much tougher, and they have shields. While, on the other hand, the Conches only have 150 health. And a Duck, not able to do much raiding on that angle, but the Duck on the other angle will have a much easier time here. Like, this one here is going to have a much easier time getting in, but nope, doesn't really go for it. Anyway... That being said, Ivan D is actually not expanding as much as they really should. Once again, this is not working out the way that it should. They are setting up some expansions here and there, but they have these defenders. They have four defenders already. That's typically considered enough, but anyway, also not building up much. That's a slight... That's rather unfortunate. Anyway, it doesn't matter, though, because the Raven is going to be coming in here and actually will be able to go... Wow, that will go down. Second Raven should be able to take care of the... Yeah, will be able to take care of the Defender. What am I saying? Should. It will, but Ivan D is going more... No, still more defenses. Ivan D trying to raid out at the same time, and at this point, Orphelius has not expanded too much themselves. They aren't expanding that nakedly, but they are expanding fairly nakedly. In fact, only two Lotuses so far. Yeah, that's pretty naked. That, that really is. There's that Lotus, and there's this Lotus up here. That's about it. That's really not saying much. The commander's taking a bit of damage, but honestly, that doesn't matter all that much. And the duck here... No more ducks! What? Ivan D isn't building anything. Just going... This is a common thing. I, I That's kind of why I want to go over these games. I didn't even realize these games had this so much, but I want to go over this because Air Start is countered by Fast Expand. Air Start is countered by Fast Expand. That It's really hard to remember that because it's intimidating because you feel like, oh no, all of my metal extractors are going to die to bombers coming in, but... If you have a bunch of workers, you have like three or four workers going around the map, building a bunch of metal extractors, you can then use that to supercharge defenders. After they get like three or four bombers, you can actually get a decent nest of defenders going on, and the bombers won't be able to deal with it. But when there's only one or two, as it is right now, it's not as big of a deal, and Orphelia is going for a jump bot switch. That is going to be very powerful. Not much has been built up to actually deal with this. Orphelia actually still has a slightly weaker economy, surprisingly. Yeah, Orphelia... Okay, not surprisingly, never mind, because there is some reclaim going on. Without the reclaim, Ivan D is slightly weaker. Orphelius didn't expand that much, but even then, Orphelius does go for the jump bot switch. And that being said, Ivan D did do one thing, did do a smart thing, and they didn't go for anti-air, other than the defenders. And the defenders are flex AA, they can deal with ground units. So that was at least a useful thing they did. This is this is an even game. This hasn't gone off in Ivan in Orphelius's favor too much. Ivan D Still in the game. Still has not lost it. Orphelius building up... Well, building cranes. Building up another raven as well. And going for pyros. Alright, there's there's the main attack force. There are a couple puppies, but... 
that's not going to do too much. The Pyros, that's where it's at. That's what you have to worry about. And, okay, Chainsaw being built up on top of this. I, okay, that's that's where I don't agree with this. Ivan D should just focus on more units. The Defenders made sense. The Defenders work fine as Flex AA, but Chainsaws don't. They really, they are pure AA. And that's 900 metal right there. That is 10 ducks. Actually, that's more than 10 ducks. It's like 11 ducks. That is a huge deal. And Orphelius, will they take advantage of that though? I don't, I don't see that. The Pyros are coming in, but Orphelius hasn't really built too much. They're going for that crane. They haven't really gotten a whole lot of economy at this point. With that crane though, they will have a huge economy. That, that crane will just go around the map, taking all the metal spots. And of course the Ravens can spot defend wherever they need to. But at this point, I am indeed being left relatively alone. The Ravens not dealing with anything in the north, because why would they? They are going to try to deal with some of the ducks, though, which is good. It's pretty much just one shot per duck, so they have to spread her out. Are they going to spread out? They're not even going to try, and the fact that Chainsaw scaring them away, not even taking the ducks on the return trip. Although, wait, what the heck is that Raven doing? Okay, that Raven went off, had a death wish, and next Raven also has a death wish. Not even being able to get into the ducks. The Pyro's going to be able to do okay, but Orpheus being a little bit too timid. Well, simultaneously too timid and too daring. Threw the Ravens into their death while not pushing forward to the ground forces that could work. And this archer is in place. But that archer is actually, wow, really powerful. What am I saying? The jump is going to help, though. Jump will be able to get in, but it looks like water will now uh, be able to beat fire. Wasn't always the case. Fire used to beat water all the time in 0k. But apparently the archers have either been buffed slightly or... That was just a bad position for Orphelius, because that Pyro did not do anything. But Orphelius has started to take the south side of the map, has one and a half times the medal of Ivan D, and has just, well, a decent position? I mean, that Raven, why is that Raven not healed up? Why has that not gone back to the base? The air pad. That really needs to go back to the air pad to heal up. I guess because it hasn't been actually ordered to do, though. I hit this button, it'll, it'll rearm. But yeah, it hasn't actually dropped its bomb, so it hasn't gone to rearm and thus hasn't gone to repair. And Ophelia is setting up with a placeholder. Good to have no follow-up though. There is a moderator being built further behind there and more moderators coming up. But that's about it. And that crane, where is that crane? That crane's gotta be here somewhere. There's a freaker over here, which is soon to be killed by the archers. I don't see any cranes though. That, that crane was built. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's helping out with a caretaker. Why is that crane helping out with the caretaker? I have no idea. I mean, caretakers aren't a bad thing to have, but really, that crane should be going around. That freaker should be building the caretaker. The crane should be going around building up all the metal extractors. Admittedly, the chainsaw can be a little bit scary, but at this point, that chainsaw does not really have the range to worry about it too much. Like, this is the chainsaw range. That's it. Not too much to worry about. I guess at this point, Orphelius doesn't even want to worry about it at all. Still, cranes are for mass expansion, and the Freaker has been forced to retreat or died. It's di Oh, no, it's forced to retreat. It's over here. Freaker's not dead yet, but we do have these forces over here. Mod Raider's in here with a placeholder support to get rid of the archers, which is a good choice. They do outrange the archers quite nicely. 420 versus 300. However, they do not fire frequently enough for it to matter, and the ducks coming in here gonna swarm everything. Probably gonna get rid of the commander, in fact, thanks to that swarming. Although the placeholder about to get a shot off. Is it going to get it off? I don't think so. It's actually, yes, it is the target, though, and that is dead placeholder right there. Nice pushback from IMD, and the archer's moving in now. The placeholder's gone to get rid of the commander. Just take that out, and that commander is not in a good spot. It's gonna go down. That commander is about to die. Phileas. Taking it out right now. One more one more shot from the ducks. One further shot from the ducks would do it, but no. Not quite enough. However, a duck is coming in. The moderators should stop it, though. Yeah, the moderators one-shot ducks, and more moderators are being built up. But even then, that last duck looks like it's going to get a lucky shot, and down goes the commander. Orphelius loses their commander, and with that, they lose economic parity. Though they still have a decent amount of map control. Most of it's in the center, which means, of course, Ravens can take care of it more effectively. And more Ravens have been built. Orphelius going back to building air units, getting moderators up as well, and getting puppies up for good measure. Not able to actually get any goo mechanic off them. Not, they can replicate using reclaim, but the reclaim is too far in. However, if they were to go to the commander, that would work very nicely. Not much is actually contesting the commander. So just go to the commander and 
That would do it. Get a huge amount of puppies from that. That's 500 metal right there. But that's not going to happen. That was a level 1 commander, too. Beam laser and nano laser. Actually, I haven't seen... Wow, I have not seen a beam laser plus anything else in a while. But there it is. At any rate, Ivan D pushing in with the ducks. We'll be able to overwhelm the moderators eventually, but that is after losing a lot of ducks in the process. However, that chainsaw getting a lucky shot in the Raven. Not trying to get rid of a duck, but doesn't manage to do so before getting shot down. Gonna crash into them anyway. But doesn't really matter. Puppies took care of that instead. And further puppies are forthcoming. Another moderator, then placeholder, then more puppies. But at this point, it's fairly even. This battle is pretty much deciding the entire thing, but Ivan D pushing in slightly stronger. They have the economy advantage. It's very slight. They could continue to get the economy going, but Ophelius, they do not have the center. Ivan D does. Now, I should point out that the metal extraction rates are basically standardized across the map. It's two for pretty much every metal, or 1.9 actually, for every metal extractor. That's the base expand, that's the base harvesting rate. But these ducks moving in strongly, and despite the ravens coming in here, actually, this is where the ducks flex AA potential is going to really shine. Or going to start to shine. At this point, just hits a solar collector, but it will eventually shine, and there are quite a few ducks right here. A dozen ducks moving in to attack. And these moderators are just too slow to deal with it, and the ravens as they dive bomb, are going to be shot down by the ducks. Or, yeah, not quite. Not quite shot down. The missiles do lose steam. <laughs> Turning the ducks into artillery units, basically. But the ducks, there are still so many of them, they can overwhelm the moderators. Not so much the puppies, though. The puppies are a good defense against that. But the puppies haven't even gone to try to replicate on here. They're still being hard built. In fact, they're the only thing that Orphelius is hard building. The only thing that Orphelius is building at all. Ivan D, on the other hand, switching over to scallops. Scallop duck which will work very nicely against these puppies, though, admittedly. It's just a matter of numbers, and really, Ivan D is swarming down. And I think at this point, though, with the puppies, the sheer number of puppies, even with the scallops in place, I think might be able to push this back and give Orphelius some room to breathe. Though Orphelius does have radar, they do not have it near enough to spot these ducks over here. The Raven will be able to spot them, and it will go for them, but get sh Oh, not quite shot down. Missiles don't quite get to it. That's usually what happens, but... on When it's coming in, on the approach, the ducks can hit it pretty hard. And nice shot by the ducks, although admittedly the puppies are still getting rid of the ducks. The scallops can survive a puppy hit. They take three puppies to kill. The ducks, on the other hand, are one shot by puppies, which is actually quite cost-effective. It's 50 metal for the puppies versus 80 metal for the ducks. The ducks get hit very hard by that. But Ivan D, with those scallops, not able to do too much, fortunately for them. And this duck over here, like this one, Ivan D is starting to... Not really starting to let up. What am I saying? Ivan D is still expanding behind this. They're actually getting an air factory built up as well. And the battle over to the south, Orphelia is managing to get their sort of breathing room. Lost a placeholder right at the end of there, but still getting some breathing room. Keeping these scallops at bay, which is fairly important. The puppies are going to be able to kill them. And they do survive. Actually, they're getting a nice reclaim field. The entire reclaim field going to the puppies. Which is going to give Ivan D a big headache once they get all built up and set up and ready to go. We'll see what happens over. Ivan D... Just wanna, Ivan D, I think, still... Ivan D lost... No commander. Ivan D still has their commander. That's the commander that exists. Orphelia's lost their commander, though. The puppies have... Well, it's turned into a bunch of puppies. That's basically what happened. The commander is now a bunch of puppies. The puppies are now just rampaging through the land, trying to break open the defenses, trying to breach the gates before finally being able to allow Orphelius to push in a... Well, more puppies, actually. That, that's what's being pushed in. Puppies being pushed in to push in more puppies. There's no other support forces coming in here. And Napalm Bombers, Phoenixes, that's what's being built up to deal with the puppies, and that's a good choice. Although, even then... I still think a lot of ground forces are just going to deal with it. Enough ducks can deal with it. Especially with radar. Especially being able to actually target in advance. And nice dodge of the placeholder, by the way. Well, I would say that, except for the ducks. That duck did walk into it, and the second duck... Not walking into it. Stops right before that placeholder black hole. And now the, all the ducks are right next to each other, allowing the placeholder to be much more effective this time around. Ivan D not paying attention to this. Not paying attention at all. Walking the ducks into that placeholder black hole. That That's not what you want to do. 
Especially when there are Ravens coming in that are going to take advantage of that being locked up. Even with the Scalps coming in and the Ducks coming in, that's that was still kind of embarrassing. Ivan D did not man manage that particularly well. They appear to be going for very, very short line moves. I don't know why. They go for long line moves. When you have a placeholder as your opponent, when you're fighting as a placeholder, go for long line moves. Do not clump up your units ever. That is a bad thing to do. Always a bad thing to do. You never want to clump up your units because your units cannot die to that placeholder. It's just embarrassing if they do. They, just, they can't, you can't let that happen. That's just silly. But if they do, if they get hit by the placeholder, everything else kills them. They don't actually die to the placeholder. They die to everything else supporting the placeholder. And they die because they're all walking into the black hole or they're clumped up. Like at this point, all the units once again are going to walk into the black hole. I don't know why Ivan D keeps walking the units right past that black hole. That's really not the thing to do. However, even despite all that, they lost a lot of ducks and scallops, but they still have a few. And Orphelia's going in with just, hey, why not? Let's build a sumo. Because frankly, that sumo is exactly what was needed. I mean, the Phoenix is coming in. The Phoenixes could come in and try to deal with these caretakers. They would do a decent job, but... The puppy's still a major target. Still not even hit. More Phoenix is trying to come in, but Ivan D focusing more heavily on ground forces, which is good, except, like I said, they lost a lot to placeholders. They lost so much to placeholders that it's just embarrassing. I don't even know if Ophelius is going to be able to lose this. Like, I think Ivan D... I mean, Ophelius is in a bit of a tight spot. Their sumo is in a bad position. But even then, Ivan D is just losing territory and losing a lot of units. And losing a lot of them inside of Ophelius' territory so Ophelius can reclaim them. Or turn them into more puppies. Or both, really. I mean, the puppies are just going to be able to get everything. Just eat everything and go past. And Ivan D trying to use a stinger to take the center once again... But I think it might be too late. Those puppies are going to spot it. They're going to take it out. Ivan D does know that this is here. Oops. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Rafelius pushing in and getting rid of a lot of defenders as well. That crane on top of that moving forward and taking out these defenders on top of that. And the pyros, even they aren't able to do too much. Sorry, the powers of the puppies. But the puppies... Actually, what am I saying not to be able to do too much? I think there's knocked out the phoenix right there. I am getting... Sorry, I'm po focusing on the chat right now, the 0k chat. Not the hitbox chat. For some reason, people aren't using the hitbox chat. But anyway. Puppies... Some of them are disarmed, but not enough. And Orphelia is basically moving in for the kill. Sumo is supported by puppies, working out fairly effectively. The, the ground is very deformable in this map, so the sumo has to keep getting out of this really big hole it puts itself into every time. But with the Ducks focusing, uh, Ducks and Scout focusing on the Sumo and not the Puppies, the Puppies are free range to just rush in, get more of themselves off the Reclaim, and then the Sumo just deals the rest of the damage if necessary. And a Grizzly is up. Ivan D going for Mass Grizzly. I mean, we are dealing with endgame units here. Grizzly versus Sumo. Sumo's in a tight spot, but the Grizzly's going to take a lot of damage, well, decent amount of damage from this. It's not falling off a hill or anything, so not the biggest amount of damage, but then the puppies on top of that coming in here. The slowdown Stardust, not going to do much. And the puppies moving in to get rid of that Grizzly. Not going to kill it. Not by any means. Going to damage it slightly. Get it down to about two-thirds health. Bit of a tricky situation, but Grizzlies have no armor. So the Ravens can just hit it and deal with flat damage. Don't have to worry about position, whether it's moving, whether it's firing, none of that. Of course, the puppies can also do that, but it's a little bit tricky, being that the Grizzlies do hard, hit pretty hard and hit a nice line. But even then, they do have, I think, a five-second reload time? Six-second reload time. And these Freakers moving forward to their deaths, trying to reclaim as best they can, but they are not making it. Still good on Orphelius for reclaiming this, but Ivan D does have an economic advantage. That was a lot of damage that Orphelius dealt breaking through the center, but that was mostly damage towards defensive structures and existing units. If Ivan D can take the center back, which with the Grizzlies, they probably can, they can reclaim a lot. And they can reclaim that sumo. This is huge. This is giving Ivan D triple economy as well as just double economy. The only thing Ivan D isn't doing is pushing enough metal into their factories, and that can be fixed by just getting this commander to deal with the factory here. Take the commander, click on the airplane factory, push more metal into it. Ivan D needs to do that. They are starting to... They're losing metal. They're excessing metal. 
and they're building Grizzlies, and they're still accessing metal. That's the position that Ivan D is in. Orphelius did have a nice shot there, but I think Orphelius has lost it, and the Grizzlies are putting the nail in that coffin. As Ivan D goes for a very strong counterattack, and Orphelius actually should point out, by the way, has very little left. There are defenders that have been built up over the southeast side after that duck harassment early on. Orphelius has very little territory. That was a bit of a last-ditch effort, what we just saw with the sumo, and it didn't work out. The Grizzlies countered it effectively. Well, yeah, the Grizzlies effectively countered it. It was a lot of units. There's so much that was hitting it. And another sumo being built up, but I think that's not going to matter too much. I mean, it takes like, 10 Grizzly shots to get rid of a sumo. And there's more support units on top of that. The Grizzlies pretty much beat sumos outright. As long as they're targeting the sumo, but like I said, the puppies coming into support forces, and the Grizzly is actually going to die! Down goes that first Grizzly, and the puppies can feed off that pretty nicely. The sumo can try to get rid of the second Grizzly, but even then, it's... That's still a lot of damage that the Grizzlies can deal with the sumo. The sumo will not be able to finish it off. That's, oh yeah, and then the Raven's coming in to support even further. That Grizzly, one more, sh two more shots to the Grizzly is going to take out the sumo. And nice Thunderbird usage there, just to disarm... Well, okay, almost nice. The Grizzly does get disarmed as well, but at least it does stop this fight, and the Ravens can come in, finish off the Sumo, the Puppies can't really do too much, and the Grizzly will still be there once this is all over. Although, Freakers coming in to try to repair the Sumo as quickly as possible won't be quick enough. Another Raven coming in here, and that Sumo... Actually, will be quick enough. The Sumo does get above 800 health, but not above 1600. Certainly not above 1500, and that Grizzly takes it out. Finishing everything off. So that is basically, even with that, Orphelius is going to call call that, that's the game, throws in the towel, not even a GG. So hope you enjoyed that. That was an interesting turnaround. Last ditch ever from the Jumpy Bot Factory, but didn't quite pan out. Also, like I said, the air start didn't really lead into fast expansion from either player, which is a very bizarre line of play. Really not the optimal line of play, but it sort of worked out for Ivan D because Orphelius didn't fast expand either. Kind of what it boiled down to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That is going to be it for me tonight. And if any of you are watching on Hitbox, and let me know how it went, if it was slow, if it was choppy, if it was smooth. I hear that apparently Hitbox... Skazi is mentioning that the Hitbox player is slower on their machine than the Twitch player. That is surprising. I'll have to look into that more. Anyway, that's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you all for watching, everyone, and have a good night.